morning. We have come in to our local town centre to um, just get a few bits of shopping for our holiday in November and we're also, while we're here, going to check out the um, changing facilities on offer for mother and baby. Now, it's fairly well known that there are some grim changing areas for changing, feeding, etc. all around. Um, we have experienced awful ones where I wouldn't even go myself, let alone put my baby in. Um, but we've also experienced some really brilliant ones. So we thought we would compare a couple of them just um, to show you what's really great about changing areas and what could be improved in certain ones. And yeah. To one of my favourite places to change for, and that seems like a funny thing to have a favourite, but one of the best places in our local town. Um, and I um, love it. I'm gonna talk you through a few reasons why we come here. This is probably my first or second choice as to where I would come and change Florence and feed Florence. So, so first of all, it is a massive space, um, which is quite odd for uh, changing facilities. Normally you're so cramped that you can't even get the buggy in sometimes. So yeah, this is brilliant. So it's a lovely airy room. You have two changing tables, so that one just there. And then this one here, each of them have a sink next to each other to it, a soap dispenser so you can wash your hands afterwards, um, towels for you to um, access for our nappy bins, which are nice to keep in away, but really easy to access to. So we love this for changing space. We're actually in the shop that sells baby products, so if we were to need something, we could just head out to the shop and pick up some wipes or nappies or whatever. Um, but it also has this lovely seating area as well, which um, sometimes, if I'm not wanting to go to a cafe or a restaurant or anything to feed Florence, I'm quite happy to come and just sit in here in the quiet. They've got bottle warmers for bottle feeding mums. I really love that this is bottle feeding friendly as well as breastfeeding friendly. Um, that's not always the case, especially around here. So yeah, I can come in here, warm up my bottle and feed Florence in peace and quiet. That's brilliant. They also have some girls on magazines for you to just sit and browse while you're in here. Great big mirrors and there's so much room for the push chairs. Very well known restaurant, supposedly child friendly restaurant, um, that's food takeaway type place, and I'm about to show you their changing facilities. Now, in my opinion, these need a lot to be desired. Firstly, my push chair doesn't even fit into the baby change room. So I can't get my push chair into the baby change room, which means I either have to leave a push chair outside or I have to leave the door open. Not ideal. So as I can't get the push chair in and I'm not happy to leave my push chair and all our shopping bags outside while the door is shut, I have to leave the door open. So inside this change room is a tiny little toilet cubicle. There is a fold down changing table. And a bin. But that, by the way of child friendliness, is it. That's all there is. There's no no access to nappies or wipes, no for someone to sit. You're so close to the toilet. Yeah, just not good. So we're just back from our trip into town. We got everything we needed and we checked out those two changing facilities. Now, there is such a stark difference between the two that we looked at today. Um, one of the things is, well, one of the most simple things about them is whether you can actually get your baby into them. It just amazes me that someone can design a space for mothers and babies um, which just doesn't fit purpose in any way other than the very bare minimum. So yeah, we. Um, one of the things I wanted to say about the second one is that that is actually part of the um, 
the main toilets, main ladies toilets and as far as I'm aware I asked Sean to check out there is an accessibility to a um, changing facility for a baby in the men's toilets so in that establishment you have to be a woman in order to change your baby so that's a massive massive um, oversight in my opinion so that's one of the things I would say as opposed to the first place that we went to and that had that was accessible for mums and dads um, so there wouldn't be any problem if Sean needed to take Florence into town and wanted to get her changed or she needed a new bum he could go in there and um, not have to worry so they're one that's one of the major things that really is important to us as a family and I'm sure it is to others too the other thing is how easy things uh, baby changing areas are to get to now that first one I will admit I didn't know it was there until Florence was about three months she's now just coming up to five months so um, it's not very well advertised but once you know it's there it's so easy to get to it's just at the back of a store um, and you just go straight in there's no the door is easy to open there's no difficulty in using that facility once you know it's there the other one that we went to is upstairs now that might seem really simple but if um, if you're a mum or a dad or a granny or a granddad that takes a baby into town you'll know that you can't just use the stairs you have to use the lift and the lift at that establishment is tiny if there's a queue for the lift and you've got say especially half term as it is now you've got three mums waiting to go upstairs with push chairs you, you have to wait about 10 minutes because it's the world's slowest lift and it's tiny so you can literally fit you and a pushchair in and you have to squeeze so there is that and then once you're up there it's just a pain to get to to get the buggy through and you have to go through three doors before you actually get to that um, very tiny changing facility so it just ease is important for me as well as all of the other things like cleanliness and um, what's there and the facilities that are actually available ease is just so important especially when you've got a grumpy baby with a, a dirty bum who just wants to be changed and um, yeah so anyway that's what we made of our two changing facilities that we visited today there are lots and lots of others in our town centre they were just the two that we got to today um, and I have put a little bit of a roundup of what we think it takes to make the perfect baby changing facility area um, and a little bit on one of the latest um, openings of baby facilities in Maidstone in our local town so yeah have a look at that we I'll pop the link below and I'd love to know in the comments below what you think makes a brilliant changing area if there's any things that you have come up against um, while trying to change your baby or feed your baby or just the obstacles that you found in baby changing facilities that just shouldn't go on or if there's somewhere near you that's brilliant I'd love to know all about it so please do pop the link at uh, the comment below and yeah that's us we hope you will check out our other videos we do all sorts of things um, including hauls and we've got a few day in the lives coming up so yeah we'd love it if you could check those out other than that though we're off to go and have some lunch so we'll see you soon thanks for watching bye